Good day, St. Andrews. It's Mal York here, and it is Wednesday, the 17th of May, uh, and I'm just bringing you your weekly news. Uh, this Sunday, we continue in our sermon series uh, on building a community in Christ uh, as we continue through the book of 2 Corinthians. I hope you've been challenged uh, as much as I have as we've been looking through uh, this really wonderful book. Uh, friends, our services are at 8.30, 10.30, 5 o'clock and 6.30 p.m. And of course, our live stream uh, goes from 10.30 if you're feeling vulnerable or unwell uh, or away on holidays. Uh, please join us as we grow together as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, friends, sadly, this week we also farewell Brenda and Alan Hurley. Uh, Brenda and Alan have been serving us for many years in many different roles, uh, particularly Alan on the organ at 8.30, uh, Brenda in kids ministry uh, being the superintendent of the kids church years ago. Uh, they're moving uh, to a church closer to their home which makes a lot of sense for them but we want to love them and farewell them so please join us at 8.30 if you'd like to farewell uh, them with us uh, and everyone's welcome back to my house for um, some coffee uh, and tea and a morning tea afterwards as well. Uh, friends, uh, the redevelopment response uh, is closing today and we're really hoping that you will be able to uh, share whether we should be rebuilding or, or renovating. Uh, as was outlined at the meeting, the staff and I uh, and the building committee are really uh, thinking that the redevelopment is better than the rebuild. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. We think cost-wise, uh, it's the wisest way of spending our money. We don't know how much costs are going to increase for the build. We don't know uh, if we uh, knock down the hall, whether there'll be uh, asbestos or things like that underneath the uh, hall that are going to blow out the costs. Um, uh, so we're concerned about that. I think secondly, uh, we're wanting to also do up the church, uh, fix up the Kelman room, fix up landscaping, which is all going to cost extra money on top of the build. Uh, and so uh, we're concerned that again, financially, it's going to blow out. Uh, we feel that we get great facilities and can redevelop these facilities in a really fantastic way. Um, please uh, uh, see if you can get your questions answered. If you have more questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, there are some questions that we simply can't answer now because we're not at that stage, but we are at the stage of trying to work out what detailed designs we want to get to, uh, to work out those costs. And that really is that decision of rebuilding uh, or redeveloping. Uh, if I can encourage you to respond, I'll make sure that I have a link in the email uh, that I send out with this to watch the uh, redevelopment meeting or to simply respond uh, on that form. Our friends, our women's event is this Friday evening. If you haven't signed up for it, it's going to be a wonderful night. Uh, again, there'll be a link in the email. You can quickly sign up and get in. Uh, Jenny Salt will be speaking. Um, it, it should be a really wonderful night of fellowship uh, and, uh, and growth together uh, as we, we continue to do life and, and grow as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, our belonging lunch is also on this Sunday. If you are new to the church, uh, we'd love to have you come and join us. Uh, meet some other people from church, meet some of the staff, hear about the ministry, Ministries, uh, but really it's highly relational get to know each other enjoy a meal together um, please contact the office if you are new and you haven't been invited you want to come uh, it'd be wonderful to have as many people as possible our winter camp regs are out uh, there was an email from uh, Indira about that to the youth and the youth parents uh, if you didn't receive us let, let, it, let us know uh, we'll send it to you but that's uh, a really awesome uh, event coming up uh, and friends, the last thing is that our Mission and Aid Sunday is not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. I'll talk more about this next week. Uh, there'll be information in the newsletter about it as well. Um, but just a reminder that there's only one service on that day down at uh, Roseville College uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, encouraging people to arrive uh, at 9.30 so we can start at Sharp at 10 a.m. Um, and so, as I said, I'll talk more about that, but please plan to join us. Uh, it, it, it was a wonderful day. We'll have lunch afterwards, so plan to stay for lunch as well. Um, and that's coming up. I'll just, as I said, I'll speak more about that next week. Uh, in fact, why don't we hear from a couple of our missionaries who will be speaking at Mission and Aid Sunday. Uh, so I'll play that for you now. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you on Sunday. Until then, take care and God bless. Oh, hi St Andrews, I can't believe that it's almost a year since the last Mission Aid Day, the last day that I was with you all. I'm greatly looking forward to seeing you again and giving you a recap of what's happened over the last year. It's been a tremendously exciting year. I'm just back from Africa again a couple of days ago um, and due to go again shortly after the Mission Aid Day. So there's lots of, to talk to you about of exciting new projects of God's kingdom growing, women being women's lives being touched and helped in a very real and practical way. 
I'll see you soon. Hi friends, Beck Choi here from Millthorpe in the Central West. As many of you know, I'm the Assistant Minister in the Anglican Parish of Blaney. And my role here is only possible because of your generous support. So thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to joining you on the 28th of May for your Mission and Aid Sunday. We've had a fruitful year of ministry and I can't wait to share some of the highlights with you all. So see you soon. <laughs>